need something. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. The Hanor trained my body for this role since I was six years old. You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. They were training me. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. The Hanar? Excessively polite, worship the Protheans? They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... Have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water? Or fire a gun? Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us. Some of us from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the Compact. What exactly are the terms of the Compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. This can't be legal. They made your whole race into slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can refuse to serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our homeworld, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, then the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakana died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twig, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset-colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies. Drells slip into memory so easily. Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Where is she? Omega, a nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? 
Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death? It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morant does not want to be cured, she won't be. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster, she is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free. But selfish. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I own nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, personal matters on mind, actually. Got call from nephew. Promising geneticist himself. Just turned 16, got tenure at university. Following in my footsteps. Had to lie about what I was doing. Think he was suspicious. Doesn't matter. Still good to hear his voice. Your nephew got tenure at 16? Is he a genius or a scientific prodigy? No, wait, don't want to insult him. Yes, uh, but not in manner you meant. Remember, Salarian lives short, but sure rapidly by your standards. Don't live much past 40.
Are you calling him because you're worried we won't make it back? No. Aware survival unlikely, but actually contacted him for family connection. Hard to imagine galaxy. Too many people. Faceless. Statistics easy to depersonalize. Good when doing unpleasant work. For this fight, want personal connection. Can't anthropomorphize galaxy, but can think of favorite nephew. Fighting for him. Does anyone in your family know about what you really did for the government? No. No, I'm lying, but won't pry. Salarians curious as a people, but also have social cues. Keep two types of secrets from family. First type, personal or guilt-based. Invite suspicion, exploration, puzzle to be solved. Reward for curiosity, intelligence, drama. Other secrets, more serious. Dangerous if discovered. Signals discourage curiosity for protection of family. Why wouldn't everyone give clues that their secrets were too dangerous to be uncovered? Not conscious. Social. Reflexive body language. Can't fake it. Example. Yawning perceived as contagious among humans. Subject observes yawn. Sensory input deactivates left periamygdalar region. Subject yawns in response. Social empathy. Also works with dogs. Salarian faking signals to discourage curiosity, similar to human faking a yawn. Can try, but... Effectiveness limited. I'm glad you got to talk to family before we finish this. And I'm glad we talked too, Gordon. Honored to be part of this, Shepard. Help preserve Galaxy before with Genophage. Dirty work. Ethically ambiguous. Problematic. Collector's mission simpler, cleaner. We'll be proud to see it in Morden's Solus biography vid. Unless we all die. Proud posthumously in that case, regardless. Thank you. I noticed the fish tank up in your cabin. If you'd like, I could feed your fish while you're away. I'd appreciate that, Kelly. It's my pleasure. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. <laughs>